You want the best for your car? You already watch all tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk stabilizer sway bar links used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. In order to change the sway bar links on your vehicle, it is necessary to lift the front of your vehicle and to remove the wheels to have complete access to the suspension system. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels, raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. The sway bar links connote the sway bar to the control arms on the shock absorbers to always keep the wheels firmly on the ground. These elements can often get jammed, so use a penetrating oil to facilitate the operation. In order to get full access to the sway bar links, you have to separate the control arm from the steering knuckle. To do this, we recommend watching the video How to Replace the Control Arms Bougeot 107. On this vehicle, the sway bar link is directly attached to the control arm. Using a 10mm spanner, a socket wrench and a 12mm socket, unscrew the sway bar link. Then, lever it off using a crowbar between the sway bar link and the control arm to remove the link. Then, remove the whole thing. Hello! If this video helped you, like and subscribe. Take the new stabilizer bar link. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. Then reassemble everything, respecting the assembly order presented in the video. Above the sway bar, screw, bearing with base directed downwards, silent block. Between the sway bar and the control arm, silent block, bearing with base directed upwards. Cylinder, bearing with base directed downwards, silent block. Below the control arm, bearing directed upwards, nut. Once assembled, screw everything back in without being excessive to not crush the silent blocks. You can now put the control arm back in place and screw it in. Then you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Putting it back on the ground before properly fixing them in place. Operation completed. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool.